Alright, let's talk about the decoding XOR array. So there's a hidden integer array, so you don't have to worry about it. So the the thing you have to worry about is you have to return the original array that you can prove the answer is exists and is unique. So basically, like you use the first uh, integer and then you XOR every single uh, nonce in the encoding array, and this will be the solution. So uh, just let me code it, and you will follow along. So I'm just say code equal to new in. And then the length will be the encoding dot length plus one. And then the first integer is always it's always the first, right? The first index is always the first, right? One, then it show the one, four, show the four. And you use four to XOR the six. So uh, I'm just going to draw. So uh, four is one zero zero. 6 is 1, 1, 0, right? So when you XOR, what do you get? It's going to be 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0 right? So you get 2, right? This is uh, how, how, how you get it. And then I'm going to traverse the entire array. So i to 0, i less than, encode, length, and then i plus plus. So code, code at i plus 1. So we use the first index. So you have to say code. Plus, uh, I plus one, and then you uh, what you have to do is you use the code uh, at I ma, I mean, not a ma, sorry, uh, XOR, the input at I. So, uh, code at I, that would be the first, right? At the first position, zero, zero, and you have to add into the, uh, the following position, which is one in this case. And I'm going to just return. Code. This is a simple solution ever, so there's no other solution more optimal than this. So here it is, so you get a, um, a this kind of solution. So time and space, this is space all of n. Time, this is all of n. So time and space are the same. So this will be the solution, and I will see you next time. Bye.